So today's video is gonna be so today's video is gonna be one of those videos where I just sit and talk about what's on my mind without actually thoroughly preparing for it. And I seldom do this with my vlogs. Um, I think it's something I should actually do to take you through the process of how I record my vlogs, like the workflow from getting the idea, from scripting it actually, yes, I actually do script it, and then recording and editing and everything that goes into one vlog from inception to posting it on YouTube, but that's gonna be for another day. But today I just wanna just sit and talk one of those days where I just speak from the heart and hopefully I don't make way too many mistakes that <laughs> I end up scratching the whole thing. So yeah, this video has been inspired by the one I posted on my birthday about the life lessons that I have learned that I wish I knew 10 years ago. And I'm gonna be dwelling on some part of it or should I say one particular part of it, um, where I talk about things seldom go to plan and um, share a story with you about how conviction, although most of the time seen as stubbornness, will save you a lot. So I've always been the kind of person who knew exactly what he wanted and how he wanted it. And it's, it's annoying sometimes. It's annoying sometimes when you are deemed stubborn and picky and especially when it comes to your creative choices, you tend to not allow people in to change your mind about certain things because you strongly believe in what you want to do and how you want to do it, exactly how you want to do it. So, I mean, I, I, it's been with me for the longest time. So I took it into the career path that I chose or that I decided to get into when there was time to survive, which was radio back then. So I started radio at Atlantis uh, back in 2012 as an intern. And then in 2013, I got offered a position to be hosting uh, the evening drive. Now the style of Atlantis was something that I completely loved because um, the kind of music they played spoke to me. It was the kind of music that I loved personally and would play all the time. And so I, I imagined myself being that kind of radio presenter for a long time. I loved entertainment, I loved lifestyle, and I loved everything that came with it. So when I got the chance to work with um, City FM, um, I quite remember uh, when I was going for the interviews, uh, it was smooth sailing with all the people I had spoken to until it got to <laughs> it got to um, Bernard Avle and Bernard asked me in the interview who my um, favorite journalist or radio personality in Ghana was at the time. And it took me a couple of seconds to think through because coming from Atlantis, especially when I started Atlantis, I had been taught or I had been given a mandate to use or to benchmark my radio style with a lot of UK radio stations, not a lot of Ghanaian radio stations. So I, I, I kind of was in a box, in a narrow box where I didn't have a lot of inspiration from local radio, which, which made me odd. So I thought about it for a few seconds and <laughs> I, 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 I actually said, no one which which gave us a huge surprise to Bernard like he was, he almost flipped like how I mean how do you not have um anyone in a local scene that you looked up to and come to think of it I I did look up to um the late Komla Dumo. however he wasn't even um practicing in Ghana at the time so I would have said him but I I didn't have anybody in mind I did admire people I liked radio shows but at the time I didn't have anybody in mind. I don't know if I went blank or that was what I truly felt, but it took him by surprise. Oh my God, sorry. It took him by surprise and he was almost livid. And then I told him that, well, I am more into lifestyle and entertainment. And so I'm not really looking at being like anybody else, but my best self. I think that's how I got out of the whole situation. And it brings me to the point where um, I think that 
sometimes people may deem what you hold dear or truly within you as being odd or weird or you being stubborn and not susceptible to change. But I strongly believe that conviction is a good thing for anybody who wants to move um, in a certain direction because there are a lot of opinions, there are a lot of answers, there are a lot of um, suggestions out there that can derail you, especially if you don't have um, an exact picture of where you want to go and what you want to do and people can just talk you out of it or inspiration can come from different places and if you are light in terms of um, your conviction then it's easy to be swayed and so yeah i mean do establish the fact that you are not all right or going to be all correct all the time however you need to have room or make room for learning and changing some of your ideals and going or molding yourself yes molding yourself in a way that will suit, um, have a certain balance. Yeah, I should say have a certain balance with, you know, being able to accommodate people's opinions as well as holding your own at the same time. And on the ground of being odd or weird, I think that is what I've been for as long as I can remember. Because even growing up, I didn't know I'd end up in this um, space. Some of the things I wish I knew. Um, growing up as far back as um, six, five, six years, um, watching movies and trying to sound like the people in the movies used to annoy the hell out of my older siblings. Like, why are you trying to sound like these people and slurry and slangy? <laughs> oh, but I just liked it i just thought that um they sounded much more clear and better and it was fun to mimic them fast forward um over 20 years later i do voice acting um i did radio i'm doing film now and my creative exploits are practically just beginning so Yes, you may be odd, you may have weird ideas, you may have um, certain ways of doing certain things that may not necessarily be such uh, conforming ways. However, I think you should not conform if you strongly believe in what you can do and how you can do it. What you may do or what you may need to do, like I've already mentioned, is to be open-minded enough to know that um, as strong as your convic convictions may be, you won't always be right, but leave room to learn. That is very important. And accept that when you do learn something other than what you strongly believed in before, allow yourself the room to also change and take a different route. But do not lose your inner self, the person you've always wanted to be and the place you've always wanted to go. It will be difficult. Um, you may not find so many people um, liking what you're doing, but trust me, there are people who your demeanor or your whole journey will be an inspiration to them and your tribe will come. There'll be a few people who will stand by you and respect what you do and how you do it. So yeah, it is what um, I thought I'd share today with you on the vlog. It's a bit spontaneous. I don't usually do this, so this is unscripted. Kwame. <laughs> and um, I hope you picked up something from it. If you have other um, comments or suggestions, you can leave it in the description below. Uh, description box below. Comment section. No, comment section below. Yes. Leave it in the comment section below. And let me know some of the things you have gone through and I have tested your conviction but you stood your ground and it's actually benefiting you now. So yeah, um, that's about what I wanted to share today on the vlog. I hope that it's something you can pick something from. And I hope to catch you again in the next one. <laughs> in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day and peace.